My babies today, so we're gonna punch out some more hitters. It's gonna be great. Okay, so updates on what's going on around the gym. We've moved some stuff around. This is still in the same place, but now all the desks are over there. Chelsea is now over there. That's Tosh, right, right. there. <laughs> he moves around, we, he's not stationary yet. This area is now cleared, and this is going to be getting demolished uh, in like four or five days. So they're gonna be starting all the construction over there, which is great. Uh, so we have this in here is pretty much pretty much done. This is going to be our office space for the next little bit. And uh, now, Eric and I are off to go crash a, uh, a high school. We're going to do live ABs at a high school, except I'm not throwing, I'm hitting, which is going to be a disaster. Eric, what do you think, uh, what are you expecting out of my live ABs performance today? So this is going to, hey, just... Grab some popcorn, grab some beer if you're old enough, and just watch the fucking show, all right? This is gonna be very ugly and entertaining. Um, you're gonna take a lot of L's, and it's gonna be great. He's gonna face what a 16 year old. You got a K against a 16 year old. What happened last time you thought my hitting performance was gonna be terrible? I don't wanna talk about that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> So we have arrived at Willow Canyon High School. Kev has parked in the coach's spot, I believe, right? Yeah, I, I was a coach last year, so you know. Yeah, 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 that works. So I guess the kids don't know we're coming, so that'll be kind of interesting. Let's see if they, yeah. they're definitely gonna recognize yeah, Sim and be more, they're gonna be more excited to see Sim than yeah. me. It'll be tight. Who's the other guy? <laughs> yeah, who's that who's homeless guy? looking guy? Yeah. That'll be great. Well, How's it going? Good, how you doing? I'm Coach O. Nice time. to meet you, Trevor. Thanks yeah, for having us out. Do you recognize a TikToker? Who? The Asian guy? Yeah. Unbelievable. Kids these days. Hey, some uh, some like 12 year old girls came over. They're like, oh, is that the dude from TikTok? Let's go. You got some fans. That's where all the kids, that's where all the kids get, uh, get their info now, right? TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I'm like a, a dinosaur nowadays. Sin is about to get in the box and strike out. My dude throws a... Uh, Anything but a straight fastball. So, I set up the turtle, get some water, let's go. Sim can't hit it, and uh, we're gonna laugh at him striking out. Yeah, this mound's very tall. I wish big league mounds were this tall. I feel like I'm a normal sized human now. My guy here is gonna, he's gonna punch Sim out today. Just blow gas right by him. Bam. Sim's got no chance. None. Sim, you just brought uh, smelling salts out to. A high school practice. What, <laughs> yeah. what are you thinking? I uh, hope I don't go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why are you on the ground, dude? Punchy. I got that there. I got that there. How was your first experience with smelling salts? Oh, uh, that was terrible. That was terrible. Oh, my. Died a hero. Very nice. Died a hero. Quick reminder that if you want to get yourself some Trevor Bauer merch, go on over to trevorbauer.com. And for watching this vlog, you get a 10% discount. The first half of the discount code is O-U-T-A. Tune in later in the vlog for the second half to get your 10% off at trevorbauer.com. construction in the gym going on because that is all gonna be and uh, yeah live ABs today so we're gonna punch out some more hitters it's gonna be great got a little different routine today because we have uh, no basketball hoop really to shoot on there's too much stuff Now, some of you might be wondering, why was I lifting before throwing live ABs? It's called post-activation potentiation. So I did some squats, I did some med ball slams, and now we're in our uh, plow ball routine. Ah! Oh! Ah! Yes. Yes. Ah! 
Oof. That's a good take. Punchy. Ah! Ah! Come on. What the <laughs> fuck is this? What is this bullshit? What is this? What are we doing? We can't make this shit up, man. I got an apology to make. How are we doing? I'm doing good. I'm good. I'm all good. I'm bruised up, but I'm that's, good. That's my bad. I did say that right before I was going to compete, and then I just lock in. I just sailed one. It was not on purpose. I, I trust you. I trust you. All right. All right. It's all my bad. It's all, it's all good. So it's been... 751 days since Eric got a hit. <laughs> hey, and man. And he came out today. I mean, he went salts. Dude, he I went all straight out. locked in. I mean, yeah. the, the pitch before, the swing before, it you was, fell down. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. How do you lock yourself back in after you fall down and embarrass yourself? Well, <laughs> well first of all, you only got to take G hacks, which is what I do. And second, um, I don't know how I took the last one. Remember the two strikes on me and you yeah. threw that nasty change up? I was like, took it. Um, and I think that really saved my at bat. So like, yeah. I was like still on it. And then right after, I mean, you fucking left it dick high and I just hit it 450. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So. Legitimately, yep. not talking shit, how yep. far do you think you hit it? Um, no joke, because I've, I've hit before on hit tracks. That's no joke, like 430, 440, I think, at least. Yeah, I mean, um, you I, got I, like every piece and, of it, right? And the launch angle was good too. It's not like yeah. I hit a liner. That one hit like top of the cage. Yeah, it was like, it was right in this. Yeah. Creasing like right there yeah. on top, and it was like going straight got, up. Boom! Yeah, you didn't you didn't miss a single pitch. No. Um, last time, yeah. I was trying to hit your barrel to change up. <laughs> What's you want, and I actually? and I and I felt pretty good about myself because I accomplished what I was trying to do. <laughs> This time I was trying to miss your barrel with the change right. up and right. it went and it 440. 440. Yeah, it's right. So it doesn't feel great. So do I get a comment? So I'm gonna definitely gonna post this up. And Cause last time I wanna post it, you're like, oh, you commented as an asshole you are. Yeah. Now you sh I, sh I, I think I deserve a comment saying, hey, L, like that's yeah. on me. I I'll, give you, I'll give you a comment that okay. you, yeah, I'll let you script Good. it. Cool. As long as we can both that's agree on it. That's all I want. I'll give you your comment. Let's go, right? baby, let's go. Hey, and I'm definitely punching you, I'm punching you out through the back. <laughs> yeah. and I'm gonna make it so embarrassing, I'm gonna celebrate on Actually, you. But. Like like a... So I'm reading through my Discord and one of the introverts asked me if uh, I could go over my sleep schedule. It asked me what is my sleep schedule? And I thought it was something good to put on the vlog because I don't think people think about it enough or understand um, what they should be looking for. So. Uh, while I can share with you what my sleep schedule is, I go to bed around 1.30 uh, in the morning, maybe 2 o'clock, 1 to 2 o'clock, something like that, and I try to get uh, 10 total hours in bed. I usually get up around like 9.30ish, so I try to go to bed before midnight, but I just never end up actually doing it, so I still don't get enough time in bed. It's something I'm working on personally. Now that's off season, obviously in season with day games and stuff like that, it, it changes a little bit, but uh, the key points on sleep are the consistency with which you go to bed. So it doesn't matter if you go to bed at eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, midnight, two o'clock in the morning, whatever, uh, as much as it matters that every day you're going to bed at the same time. Now there's uh, sleep stages throughout the night. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar, you have your light sleep, you have your deep sleep, um, you have your REM sleep. Now uh, there's three stages of non-REM sleep, N1, N2, N3. Uh, those are like different varying levels of deep sleep. So I'm not going to cover all of that. Just know that it is a little bit more complicated than what I'm kind of telling you, but I'm giving you like the, the key points here. When you're in bed for, let's say eight hours, that doesn't mean that you're getting eight hours of total sleep. You're probably waking up a little bit, 30 minutes somewhere spread throughout the night, whatever the case might be. Uh, so it's important to get uh, the consistency uh, with which you go to bed, the time that you go to bed, uh, to make that really consistent. And then the duration that you're actually in bed slash asleep uh, to be long enough that if you're getting nine hours in bed, uh, you might be getting seven and a half, eight, eight and a half hours of actual sleep. I thought it was a really good question and wanted to expand on a little bit more than I could do via writing. So I figured I'd put it on the vlog and that way more people uh, could benefit from it. And if you would like to be able to ask me questions directly like that, uh, I answer a lot of them in my Discord server, so you can check the link below in the description to join that and become an introvert and come hang out and talk and chat. So I'll see you guys there.
So leaving the facility now is tough because you have to squeeze through this little thing. Then your backpack gets caught. It's just, uh, it's tough, but we can make it happen. Who are we rooting for? Chiefs or Bengals? Bengals. Bengals? Yeah. Psst. I think the Bengals are like a year or two away. Yeah. So Miranda makes ceviche. And it's delicious. So we're all sitting out here watching the game. Eating chips. That can kill Chelsea. And ceviche. Oh, those chips can kill Chelsea. <laughs> Let's not mix those. <laughs> well, once again, I was wrong on my football predictions. The Bengals, overtime winners, going to the Super Bowl. So that'll be awesome for the, the Cincinnati fans. Uh, it'd be great to see Joey B uh, in the Super Bowl, see what he can do, see so if he can pull it off one more. One more, bring the Super Bowl home to Cincinnati. Uh, I didn't think they were going to be able to do it this year. I thought they were a couple years away, but got it done. The second half of the discount code is GE10. GE10. So go on over to TrevorBauer.com, enter your discount code, get yourself some merch. Lots going on at the gym this week. We got these TVs going in. So in these boxes right here, there are four TVs, and they're going to go up on the wall right here and it's going to make one large tv display for the hit tracks which is going to be excellent also for events and stuff like that and i'm getting ready to throw uh so i looked at film from live a bees last time and my change up i finally got the seam orientation correct and the grip correct for live a bees but i don't have the gyro angle correct i do get it at like 78 miles an hour but at like 81 miles an hour it changes in live a bees so I'm going to throw some on the wrap soto. Gagne is over here actually uh, setting it up right now. So it's going to be a good day. Um, which brings me to the question that I have for you guys this week. What informational stuff would you guys like to see on the vlogs? Like, do you, what, do you, what do you want to know more about when it comes to baseball? Is it uh, pitch design? Is it pitch shaping? Is it sequencing? Is it training? Is it like I, I talk about a lot of these things and it's just like very common for me, like, oh, we'll set the Rapsodo up, we'll get the Edgertronic, and I say these names, but I don't know if you guys know what any of that stuff is or means, or if you want more explanations or whatever. So do you guys have like something that you want to see in the vlog that I can explain to you? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so a couple takeaways from my change-up session today. Uh, I have a really good ability to throw it at like 76 or 77 miles an hour. Um, when I do that, it has the right spin to it. It comes off my hand correctly. As soon as I try, try to start throwing it harder, something changes. So that's what I was trying to really figure out. And I think I figured out part of it. When I'm throwing it nice and easy, I get a really easy grip on the ball. I just kind of like hold it here because I know I'm not trying to throw it too hard. It doesn't have to be in my hand super well. And so I then just throw it and I kind of get out through the ball instead of pulling off. As soon as I go to throw it hard, I want to like load the scab and then my upper body kind of peels off this way, which means my hands either on the outside of the ball, kind of like it would be for my slider, or I like pull across the ball and my hand gets behind it and pulls it down this way and that yanks the ball down. So that's one key thing. Um, I need to think later with the change up when I'm throwing it, I need to think relax until like the last bit and then like pull down hard here or like roll there as opposed to like getting it earlier like I might in my fastball or something. Also towards the end of the session, I started like losing feel for the grip and like I realized that I don't really have any cues on my change up grip right now because I'm changing it uh, like I do on my other pitches. Like my curveball, I know that I like grab this seam first, then I put that thing there, then I squeeze the thumb and the tip of the middle finger and the knuckle together, and that's my grip. And then I last set this on the, on the ball very lightly. And then I can throw it, I know it's locked in my hand. But my change up, I'm like, okay, well, I need to, let's see, grit this seam here, but then it's kind of like split it, but do I split it like first and then try to put, put the thumb or what? So I need to come up with a, a set way that I get the grip. So a good session, um, gonna work on that. Uh, later in the week and hopefully it's a lot better in live ABs. So making some progress, making some progress for sure. Let's take a peek at what is going on demolition wise in the, uh, in the facility.
That looks a lot different than it used to. <laughs> uh, I wish things went up as quickly as they come down because that's a lot of, a lot of demolition, a lot of work done in, uh, in one day and it'll take months to build the rest of it back up. But pretty cool, making progress.